hello and welcome back to LMLM Crochet. In this video, I am going to show you how to crochet these adorable peas in a pod. And as you can see, I have made them using safety eyes, uh, but you can also embroider the eyes on um, if you don't have any safety eyes. So, in order to make this project, you are of course going to need your yarn, and I've chosen this really nice light green um, fresh cotton yarn, which uh, crochets up exactly like, like this, but you can of course use any yarn that you have um, available to you. I also have my crochet hook, and I'm going to use a three millimeter today, which is slightly smaller than the yarn requires, just because I want to get that really nice, tight um, amigurumi effect on the stitches. Uh, you're also going to need some scissors, have those nearby, and I've just dropped my yarn needle, but you're also going to need your uh, yarn needle as well to sew it all in at the end. Um, like I mentioned, if you have safety eyes, they're really great. Um, they just add the project up to give project life, but if you don't, don't worry, you don't have to use them, or you can just embroider them on with black yarn afterwards. So let's get started. The first thing that we need um, to do is create the peas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you once on this video how to make one of these peas and then you're going to then rewind the video, watch it again so that you end up with two peas. And then I will show you how to make the pod, okay? And it's as simple as that, then the project's done. So to make the peas, you need to start with the magic ring. Now I have a video that shows you how to do the magic ring and a video that shows you how to increase the magic ring in more detail if you need that. Um, if you're not an absolute beginner, I will just show you quickly now how to do it as a kind of refresher. If you are an absolute beginner, please go back and watch that video. Okay, so we're gonna take the yarn, wrap it around the forefinger like that, pick up this, oh, leave it in that X position like that. Pick up the piece on the right hand side and push it to the side like that. Rest it under your thumb just so it's secure. This piece here is then lifted up and your hook and your hook goes through that gap. Then you just use your, your working yarn and you chain one. Okay, then you take the circle off your finger and there is the magic circle. So we're gonna start by putting six single crochet into that magic circle, or magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, oh, five, and Okay, then you take this tail here and you pull it tight and all the stitches move around to form a circle. Don't worry if it's not fully um, closing the hole just yet because you can do that as you're going. All right, next you're going to do an increase round. So again, if you don't know how to do that, please follow my tutorials. Otherwise, we're just going to do two single crochet into the first one's always quite tight but into every stitch so it's going to bring your stitch count up to 12 okay so two single crochet into every stitch one two next stitch three four next stitch five six next stitch seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so now as you can see the hole's got a bit bigger so if you just pull the tail at the back that should close it up. Okay? So we're going to do one more increase round on these. The, the peas are only tiny, so you don't need to be increasing like mad on this project, which is quite nice because it means it's one of those really quick projects. So in the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. One and two go in there. The third stitch is going to go on its own. Oh, so no increase. 
just one single crochet on its own in the next stitch. And the following stitch is going to be an increase, so that's four and five. Stitch six is on its own. Stitches seven and eight together in the next stitch. Nine on its own. 10 and 11 together. Twelve on its own, thirteen and fourteen together, fifteen on its own, sixteen and seventeen together, and eighteen on its own. So you've now got a stitch count of eighteen. What you're going to do now, quite simply, is do a single crochet into every stitch around for two rounds. So quite simply, you're going to count to 36 single crochet, 36 single crochet. And once you have done that, please pause the video. Once you've done that, press play, and we will continue on from there. So count to 36 single crochet. Okay, so once you've done that, it should look a little something like this. And at this stage, you are now ready to attach the safety eyes. So, the way to do that, I'm just going to show you briefly because I know some people don't have them. So if you don't have them at this stage, just embroider them on, okay? And uh, also embroider, don't forget to embroider that smile. So if you have them, the way to do it is to simply place them where you want them. So I'm going to treat that kind of middle circle bit as a kind of nose, I suppose. Um, and then you just push the eyes the tighter the better really so it's a good sign that it's tight and they will go push them through where you want them make sure they're in the right position you can move them around as well before you're satisfied okay so once you've got them where you want them turn them around like that and just slide the backs on so these aren't really suitable for babies um, because they're small so if you're making a toy for a baby I wouldn't put safety eyes in them I would just embroider eyes on them um, okay so if you want to embroider a smile on as well now would be the time to do that as well okay so what we're going to do now in terms of the pattern is we are going to um, decrease again okay so we're going to do one decrease stitch followed by a single crochet so that's a decrease followed by a single crochet I'll just show you that decrease again in case you're not sure so you go into the stitch bring through the yarn go back in, go into the next stitch bring through some yarn three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three loops okay then a regular single crochet then into the next stitch and this is stitch five we need to get to twelve six seven is a decrease eight is a single crochet nine is a decrease Ten is a single crochet, eleven is a decrease, and twelve is a single crochet. So it's all getting a bit tight now. The next thing you want to do is actually to stuff your little pea. So if you've got a little um, bit of toy stuffing, otherwise some scraps from yarn scraps or anything like that. So just push that tail in. Sometimes using the end of your scissors is quite good to push the yarn in.
nice and tight in there. Okie doke. So next we're going to decrease into every single stitch around, okay? Until you have a stitch count of six. So this is going to get a bit fiddly, so bear with me. Okay, one. Very, very fiddly. Three. Four. Five. and six and then I'm just going to slip stitch oops sorry I'm just do five and six again five and six and then as I was about to say you just slip stitch into the next stitch and cut off pull the tail and cut off the yarn okay so my pea's a bit squished at the moment a bit mushy pea um okay so what you need now is your yarn needle and you're just going to thread that end onto a needle and this is a really good trick for closing up uh, openings like this you just go into the stitch and then down again through it then in under the, the, the stitch the next stitch and back through it again and in and out okay so you had six stitches so you should do that six times in and out in and out and then you can just pull it and it closes like a kind of drawstring um, and then to secure it, just sew back through, like so. It can get a bit tight, so just make sure you can give it a big tug. And then just bury that yarn tail by sewing it into the piece somewhere, coming out in a random place, and going back in again, ensuring that's hidden. Okay, so now you've got one P and you might have added a little smile to yours as well if you didn't and you decided you do want one now, you can add a smile in now, as I might do. Um, so what you need to do now is re-watch the video from the beginning again and make another one of these P's and then uh, when you come back I will show you, come back to this point here in the video, I will show you how to make the pod for them to sit in. Okay? Okay, so by now you should have your two peas ready to go in their pod. So they're just sitting there waiting, okay? So to make the pod then, you need to use, um, you're not using the magic ring anymore, but you will be you will be crocheting in the rounds. So I'll show you what I mean by that, okay? You might not have come across this before, um, but I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so you're going to start with a slip knot. So it starts in a similar way to the magic ring. Take the yarn, wrap it around your finger into that X lift this piece on the right and move it to the left and then the piece here you lift up put your hook into it take your finger out and pull and then just pull that closed there to make the slip knot okay so to make um the pod you need to chain 12 okay so that's yarn over pull through one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, then you're going to go back on and uh, do some stitches into this chain, okay? So in the second, not this one here because you can't quite reach it, in the second chain from your hook, you're going to do a single crochet 
and then you're going to do um, nine more single crochet in each of the chains along. So that's one, uh, so that, that was the first one. Now we need to do nine more. Okay, so into the chain spaces. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. And one more single crochet. And then in this final stitch here, so that's ten. Um, in this final stitch here, you're going to do two single crochets. So you're going to do an increase at the end. So that's one and two. Then, this is where it gets interesting, and then you're going to turn your work this way around and you're going to start working in the stitches on the opposite side. This tail here as well can get buried, crocheted on top of as we're going. So you're going to go in a way, it looks like it is the same stitch, but in a way it's the first stitch of the new round. So you're going to go back into that stitch again. So it's almost like you've, you, well, you have done three single crochet into that stitch. Then the next one along is this one here. Okay, because we're already onto that one, so we're going to go into this one here. One. So we're doing ten again. So one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, it's curling up, and nine. So your tenth one is going to go in there, and then you're going to do another stitch as well into the same stitch. So your last one should be an increase. Okay, and then it should look a little something like that, and that's the base of your pod. Okay, so starting back again in that first stitch we started from. So not that one, but this one here. You're going to do an increase. You're going to do two single crochet. One and two. Okay, then you're going to do ten single crochet. One two, three, four, no, four, five, six, seven, eight, curling up again, nine, and ten. Okay, then in this uh, kind of pointy corner stitch, end stitch, you're going to do an increase. And then you're going to go turn your work again and you're going to do 12 single crochet on this side. One, two, three, four, Eleven and twelve. Okay, next, uh next round we're going to do 
and increase again in the next stitch okay so two stitches two single crochet one two so then you're going to do 12 single crochet one two three and 12 then you're going to increase so two single crochet in the same stitch and then 12 along the other side two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, what you're going to do next is you're going to do a single crochet into every stitch around for three rounds. So you're going to do 28 stitches three times. If you like, you can put a um, stitch marker in to save you having to count. If not, just count 28 three times. And once you've done that, I will see you back here to assemble it all together. So once you have done three rounds, it should look like this. And that's your pod ready to go. So what you need to do now is you need to slip stitch into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and snip it off. Don't leave too much yarn, you don't need it for anything, it's just going to be sewn in. Um, so what you need to do now is get your yarn needle and thread, I'm just going to turn it inside out a second, thread these ends onto your yarn needle and then just sew in these ends. Remember the inside's going to be stuffed with the piece it's going to be relatively hidden so you don't need to worry too much about it I mean if keep it neat you may as well okay I'm just I've gone through twice and I'm just gonna snip that tail off and again with this one thread that onto your yarn needle and I'm just going to go through there it tight and again just inside out quickly just so I can go through these stitches inside here just to bury that yarn tail so I know that the whole project won't fall apart if it's played with which hopefully it will be okay and snip that off so now is the fun part so now you need to stuff your peas inside their pod and hopefully it's nice and tight because then they won't fall out I like how cute that is got two little friends two little peas in a pod adorable so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe. Please find me on Instagram. And if you make it, please use the hashtag LMLM Crochet. My Instagram is also LMLM Crochet, so have a look for me on there. I'd love to see what you're making. Um, thank you so much for watching today. Um, I will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>